Alrighty, good day and welcome. My name is Mr. JB and today we're going to be going through another photo feed tutorial. Today we're going to be going through how to turn an image into something that looks like it has been drawn. So to begin, we're going to start off. I've dropped my image of Joel from The Last of Us in here and I'm going to begin by creating a duplicate of this layer. Now this background layer, I usually just like to leave a duplicate of what this image used to look like just for kind of showing myself future time what things look like. So I'm going to start off with my layer one selected and I'm going to go to select and I'm going to go remove BG. This is going to help remove our background. It's going to do all this work for us. Excellent. We've got a transparent background. With that transparent background, now we are going to create a white one. So we're going to go down into the new adjustment layer and go all the way up to color fill. And then we're going to drag our circle up to the top and click OK. Now you should have a color fill layer that is solid white and you're just going to drag that below your image, whatever that image is. Now with this image, I want to kind of combine the two so I don't have to deal with this um, extra layer, um, this raster mask layer. So I'm going to convert it to a smart object and then I'm going to create a duplicate layer of that. So when I create a duplicate layer, I'm just doing control J. You can right click and you can go to duplicate layer, um, whichever one works. I do control J just because I find it faster uh, as I'm going through this process. Now with that selected, I'm now going to go and I'm going to do an effect. So I'm going to go my new adjustment layer again, and I'm going to go to my hue and saturation. I'm going to drag my saturation layer all the way down, and that's going to turn my image into black and white. Now to close that menu, I just pressed what you saw me click here where my mouse is, um, and then we're going to go and we're going to adjust our layer. So we need to go to our layer one copy. We're going to adjust this and we're going to change it to color dodge. You'll see that it's kind of done some minor adjustments. That's going to help us future time. With this selected, we are going to go to image, go to adjustments, then we're going to go all the way down to invert. Now your image should almost disappear. That's good. That's what it's supposed to do at this stage. Don't panic. Don't worry. This is exactly what's supposed to be going on. Now with this selected, again, make sure that your layer one copy as mine is, is selected. And we're going to go up to filter. We're going to go to blur. We're going to go down to Gaussian blur. As you can see, it's already starting to look like this has been drawn and you're just going to do an adjustment based on your preference on what you see. Now, your image might work when it's super low. Maybe that's where you want to have that. Maybe you want to have it a little bit darker, whatever. Um, you're going to do this adjustment. For me, most images I've found somewhere around the 10 to 15 mark seems to be the sweet spot for what I like. So I'm going to set this to 12. I'm going to click OK and I'm going to lock that in. Now. We've got most of our settings done. We are super close to finishing this off. I know this has been super quick. Uh, we're going to go over and we're going to go to our new adjustment layer again, and we're going to go up to curves. This is going to help us do some final little tweaking. And I'm just going to grab this dot in the bottom and I'm going to drag it a bit over to the right. As you can see, I'm making some minor adjustments. This is where you can make those blacks or those grays significantly darker, depending on how you want your image to look. I'm going to drag that a little bit farther just so that way some of those blacks can become black. And then bam, I'm done. This is where I'm happy with. You've got a little bit of shading on the outside, but it looks a lot more like it's been a hand sketch drawing. Now with that, that's all there really is to this. Just a few steps. Um, sometimes the background remover can't remove complicated backgrounds, so that's just something to note and to be aware of. You might need to drop it into like background remover BG, or you're going to have to go around your image and actually trace it and take the time to do that should this be the formatting that you're trying to go with. Now, as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope that you learned something. Have a wonderful day. Take care and be safe.